what's up everybody? It's Eric with Inhabit Real Estate and I've got another market minute for you this week and I appreciate you sitting in. Now this week I'm going to focus on opening up the market for our seller clients. The number one objection or concern that we've been getting from our sellers is that they want to sell, they know they can sell, but they're concerned about where they're going to go on the other end. Now we can use rent backs and those traditional techniques or negotiation terms to massage this timing situation. But what our sellers really want to know is where are they going and what are they going to buy on the other end, whether you're moving up or moving down or moving into a different market. So what I have here is a simple one page form that's in our forms library that we have access to. And it's very well written and it's very reasonable. And it's called the seller's contingent obligation to sell addendum. Now this form will go, will accompany an offer and it sets forth reasonable timelines and expectation that allow our sellers once in contract with their buyer to go out and secure their replacement property. Now, of course, there are timelines associated with that that are negotiable and what have you, but it's very well written and with setting the proper expectations and with low inventory conditions, this can open up a lot of marketplace for our clients and bring more inventory to the market, which we know we all need. So the focus here is we have a tool at Inhabit that will allow you to sell your property under the safety net or the safety blanket of allowing yourself in within reasonable timelines to go find your next home. So it's kind of like having your cake and eating it too. So that's one little tip we have on ways we work with our sellers to open up the market, reduce fear and concern, and get you going to where you want to be. Uh, for our buyers next week, under the same theme of opening up the market, we're going to talk about alternatives to the housing inventory stock that we see every day here in Portland. We're going to go into floating homes, tiny homes, and maybe rustic cabins. So stay tuned. Hit us with your comments and questions. We'd love to hear what you'd like to hear about. And so please, we're all ears. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next week.